We're going to get right into the lesson. And this lesson is going to be about the day assignment. Because we got a day assignment coming up. It's tomorrow, right? Yes, start tonight. Start sundown. tonight, sundown. Hmm. Yeah. So we're going to start off. The day assignment is on the 23rd of the second month, right? So you are in the second month. And uh, sundown will be the 23rd, right? Yeah. So we're going to get right into the story of the day assignment. Since we understand that we about to be in the day assignment tonight, right? Sundown, right? So let me get first Maccabees uh, 13 and 1. So this is about triumph. Prepare war against Simon Maccabees and capture Simon's brother Jonathan. And triumph was a Greek king in uh, 144 BCE. First Maccabees 13 and 1. First, Mar first Maccabees 13 and 1. Okay. Now, when Simon heard that Triumph had gathered together a great host to invade the land of Judea and destroy it, and saw to... Sorry, keep going. Yeah, stop, stop right there. Okay. And uh, the people of Israel was in great fear because Triumph was raising war against the Israelites, right? Did we get that? In First Maccabees 13 and 2. Okay. And saw that the people were in trembling and fear... He went up to Jerusalem and gathered the people together. Right. So let me get uh, 1 Maccabees 13, 3 and 6. Simon reminded all Israel, right, the great acts they did for the laws and the sanctuary. So what they did, they uh, cleaned out the uh, sanctuary and they uh, got rid of all the idols and all the, uh, uh, they stopped all the pagan worship. So this was a great act that Israel did for the Most High. So the Most High blessed them in other wars, like the War of the Maccabees and all the other wars that was before this war. Let me get that. And gave them exhortations, saying, Ye yourselves know what great things I and my brethren and my father's house have done for the laws and the sanctuary. You see that? So uh, uh, Mac uh, Maccabees, Simon, his brothers, and his fathers, they've done great things for the Most High. So he's telling his people, you know what I'm saying, what more would the Most High do for us right now in this situation we in now? Go ahead. The battles also and troubles which we have seen by reason whereof all my brethren are slain for Israel's sake and I am left alone. Now, therefore, be it far from me that I should spare my own life in any time of trouble, for I am no better than my brethren. Doubtless, I will avenge my nation and the sanctuary and our wives and our children for all the heathen are gathered to destroy us of mighty, uh, of very malice. Right. So let me get uh, 1 Maccabees 13 and 7. When they remember that, their spirit was lifted up. So when uh, Simon told them this, their spirit was lifted up and they was full of joy and it was ready to go to war. Let me get that. Now... As soon as the people heard these words, their spirit revived. Eight? Yes, yeah, it. Okay. And then uh, let me get First uh, Maccabees 13 and 10. Simon gathered all the men of war to guard the city of Jerusalem. So when they heard that, when they heard what uh, Simon told them about what their forefathers done, then Simon got the men of war to guard the city of Jerusalem so they could protect the walls and build the walls to keep the uh, 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 other the, uh, uh, intruders out. Let me get that. So then he gathered together all the men of war and made haste to finish the walls of Jerusalem, and he forfeited it round about. Right. And, uh, jump down to First Maccabees 13, 12, and 13. Triumph was getting ready to invade the land of Judah, and he had Jonathan's son, uh, Simon, brother, in custody. So Triumph removed from Ptolemus with the great power to invade the land of Judea, and Jonathan was with him in inward. But Simon pitched his tents at Adia over against the plain. All right, jump down to 1516. Triumph wanted ransom from Simon's brother, Jonathan. So Triumph wanted a ransom. He wanted money to give back Jonathan. Go back. Whereas we have Jonathan, thy brother, in hold. It is for money that he is only unto the king's treasure concerning the business that was committed unto him. Wherefore now send a hundred talents of silver and two of his sons for a hostage 
that when he is at liberty, he may not revolt from us, and, he, and we will let him go. All right, jump down to 19. Simon sent the money for his brother, but Triumph didn't let him go. So he sent them, the children, and the hundred talents. Howbeit, Triumph dis dissembled, neither would he let Jonathan go. Jump down to 20. So they was getting ready for war. And after this came Triumph to invade the land and destroy it, going round about by the way that le leadeth unto Adora. But Simon and his host marched against him in every place wheresoever he went. Jump down to 21 to 22. Triumph tried to sneak attack, but was but was greeted by a great storm by the Most High, a great storm, right? And most of his men got killed. Go ahead. Now, they that were in the tower sent messengers unto trial to the end that he should hasten his coming unto them by the wilderness and sent them victuals. Therefore, Triumph made ready, uh, made ready all his horsemen to come that night. But there fell a very great snow, by reason whereof he came not. So he departed and came into the country of Galad. Mm -hmm. Jump down to uh, 23. After the snow, Triumph stopped it at Boscama and killed Jonathan, Simon's brother. Triumph killed Jonathan in 142 BCE. Okay. And when he came near Bascoma, he slew Jonathan, who was buried there. Afterward, Triumph returned and went into his own land, then sent Simon and took the bones of Jonathan, his brother, and buried them in Moden, the city of his fathers. All right. So let me get uh, 1 Maccabees 13, 25 through 28. Simon buried his brother. Go ahead. Then, excuse me, then sent Simon to, and took the bones of Jonathan, his brother, and buried them in Modin, the city of his fathers. And all Israel made great lamentation for him and bewildered him, bewailed him many days. Simon also built a monument upon the specter of his father and his brethren and raised it aloft to the site with Hugh stone behind and before. 28? Oh, yeah, 28. Moreover, he set up seven pyramids, one against another, for his father and his mother and his four brother. So then let's jump down to 1 Maccabees 13, 31 and 32. Then Triumph killed King Antiochus and made himself king. Now Triumph dealt deceitfully with the young king Antiochus and slew him. And he re he reigned in his steed and crowned himself king of Asia and brought a great calamity upon the land. 33, I'm sorry. No, sorry, right there. So let's jump down to 43, 46. Simon went to war with Gandaza and built a machine to get over the wall and to build a wall. Go ahead. In those days, Simon camped against Gaza and besieged it round about. He made also an engine of war and set it by the city and battered a certain tower and took it. And then, and, excuse me, and they that were in the engine leaped into the city, whereupon there was a great uproar in the city. 45? Sorry. To 46. Okay. Insomuch as the people of the city rent their clothes and climbed into the walls with their wives and children and cried with a great voice, beseeching Simon to grant them peace. And they said, Deal not with us according to our wickedness, but according to thy mercy. That's 46. Sorry. Right, so we will jump down to 48 to 50. Simon destroyed the Tower of Jerusalem and cleaned it and kicked out Esau. And took back Jerusalem for there for you. Five. Yeah, he put all uncleanness out of it and placed such men there as would keep the law. And listen, I'm sorry. And he put all uncleanness out of it and placed such men there that would keep the law and made it stronger 
than it was before and built therein a dwelling place for himself. They also of the tower in Jerusalem were kept so straight that they could neither come forth nor go into this country nor buy nor sell. Wherefore they were in great distress for want of victuals and a great number of them perished through fa uh, famine. Then cried they to Simon, beseeching him to be at one with them, which thing he granted them. And when he had put them out from thence, he cleansed the tower from pollutions. That was 50. All right, so we will jump down to 51 and 53. 20 days of the second, the 23rd day of the second month is when Simon took back Israel. And entered into it the three and twentieth day of the second month in the hundred seventy and first year with thanksgiving and branches of palm trees and with harps and cymbals and with vows and hymns and songs because there was there was destroyed a great enemy out of Israel. He ordained also that the day should be kept every year with gladness. Moreover, the hill of the temple that was by the tower he had made, then it was. And there he dwelt himself with his company. And when Simon saw that John, his son, was a, violent, a, a valiant man, he made him captain of all the hosts. And he dwelt in Gagara. Right. So that's it. So that's what we will be keeping at sundown it's our day of simon right. so we'll get a celebration of that and that's it kept with gladness yeah we'll keep it with gladness and so, music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that shows you that all the uh high holy days and holy days that we keep they all have meaning to them you know what i'm saying and it's all about salvation salvation that the most high gave us when we came back into the truth he looked upon us and he destroyed our enemies. So that's what salvation is. Salvation is us being saved from our enemies. And once we come back into the truth and start keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, he will save us to this, this day. At this time, he will save us from our enemies that we have today. Right. So all we have to do is just come back, keep his law, statutes, and commandments, and he will look upon us and he will forgive us for our sins. That's why he sent us a mediator. And that's our, and a mediator that he sent is Yahweh and Yahweh he died for us on the cross for our sins to be a covering for our past sins and then it tell us that uh once we come into the understanding and the knowledge of the truth there remained no more sacrifice for sins so Yahweh only died for us once for our sins for all of our sins so now we're supposed to be living righteously and the only way you can live righteously is according to the laws you know what I'm saying? You want to get that? Mm -hmm. Give me Deuteronomy uh, 26 and uh, 25. So it's the only way you can live righteously. And the only way you can live righteously is by keeping the most high laws. You said Deuteronomy 26 and 5. five. Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Sorry. Deuteronomy 6 and 5. 25. Sorry, 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before Yahweh as he have commanded us. Right. So we got to do all his commandments as he has commanded us. And then he will look upon us and he will save us from our wicked enemies. He will save us from this wicked world. Let me get that. Uh, let me get Romans 8 and 4. Uh, so that's what salvation is. Us being saved. Romans chapter 8. <clears throat> Verse 4. <clears throat> and, uh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us you see who that? walk. The righteousness of the law. So that's the only way you can live righteous is according to the law. Go ahead. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yeah, so we're not supposed to walk after the flesh. What's walking after the flesh? Being a lover of this world. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to love the things in this world because this world was given to who? The wicked. The hand of the wicked. Let me get that at Job 9 and uh, 24. Where the world was given to the wicked. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's why everything that pleases the flesh is wicked. Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's talking about who? That's talking about who runs this world right now to this day. Mm -hmm. And that's Esau. And the world was given into the hand of the wicked. So we're not supposed to be led by the flesh, right? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be led by the spirit. And we're supposed to have faith, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me get that. What's that? In, uh, Revelations 14 and 12. Who is Esau? Hmm? Who is Esau? The Caucasian. Caucasian. Mm -hmm. That's who run this world. Mm -hmm. The uh, elect of this world is Esau. And the world was given into the hands of the wicked. And you see all the wickedness that he's doing upon this earth. And it says in the Bible that Esau, he would change the laws. And people would start uh, love, uh, saying that uh, evil is good and good is evil. And that's what we see it today. Mm -hmm. And then the Most High shows in his Bible that the world was given into the hand of wicked. You know what I'm saying? So if these people is trying to uh, change the laws and try to make evil good and uh, good by us keeping the laws evil, we know who run the world. And the Most High said that uh, these people is going to come and deceive even almost the very elect of the world. And we've almost been deceived in the churches. Let me get that. Revelations 14 and... I think 12. 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. See, this is in the New Testament. So we got to keep the what commandments of who? Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. And we're supposed to keep the faith of Yahweh Shai. What is the faith of Jesus? You know what I'm saying? Jesus... Is uh, uh you know what I'm saying Yahweh is who people even call Jesus. So what is the faith of Jesus? You know what I'm saying? The faith of Jesus is us having faith that he died on the cross to cover us for our old sins. Because if he didn't do that, we all be uh damned to go to hell. You know what I'm saying? That'd be our damnation to go to hell. So Yahweh he died for us and he wiped away our old sins, right? You know, let me get that in Hebrews uh, 10, 26. Yahweh Shah died for us and he wiped away our old sins and he allowed us to repent. Uh, hold that. Let me get uh, Acts 3, 18. So he allowed us to repent. You know? Acts 3, <clears throat> verse 18. Yeah. But those things which Yahweh before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. Right, right. So Christ suffered for us. He has so fulfilled. Let me get, uh, uh, what's that, Matthew uh, 18 and 3. Matthew 18 and 3. <laughs> and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, and let me get uh, Acts uh, 3.19. That's what I'm in. Acts so 3. you see that? We got to be converted. It said, read that one more time so we can understand that. Yeah, how shall I? Yeah. Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted. You got to convert. What's converting? Changing. Changing. You got to change. You can't keep doing the same old things that you was doing when you didn't know the truth. Mm -hmm. You can't keep doing the same old things that you uh, was doing when you was in the Christian, Christian churches. Because you see what them Christian churches uh, did for our people. Nothing, you know? They had nothing to show for worshiping uh, our, that uh, slave Jesus. Jesus was given to us when? In slavery. We never knew who Jesus was. The letter J was invented, what, in uh, 1500s? You know what I'm saying? It's fake. All that stuff is fake. They even caught the, the uh, slave ship that brung over, brought us over here, what? Jesus. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And they gave us this fake figure, Jesus. They uh, put they uh, uh that word Jesus that's in the Bible was not not, not even supposed to be there. It was supposed to be Yahshua, right? Yahshua, Yahshua. Yahshua. Mm -hmm. Right, they just added that. So we uh, uh uh you know who we praying to when you say Jesus? You praying to some fool named Jesus. <laughs> Do you know anybody named uh Yahusha? 
But why so many people named Jesus and Jesus? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? We was tricked. So we can't keep doing the same old things we was doing before. We have to change. Mm -hmm. That's why you said right there we have to do what? Be converted. Read that. Uh, That's it. Uh, uh, well, verily I say unto you, except ye turn and be converted... And become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. We have to be converted and come as little children. You know how you come as little children? You don't buck against, buck up against the truth. Mm -hmm. When a brother telling you, man, you got to uh, keep the laws of the most high. You don't buck up against it and say, nah, 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 I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You accept it because you accept it because you see what, you see the fruit that the brothers that's keeping the truth is bearing. And then you see the fruit. That the people who's not even in the truth is bearing. The people who go to Sunday worship. You see their fruit. So what, which one do you want? Mm -hmm. That's why I don't have time to be talking to these Christians. Even trying to debate them. Because I see their fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, The most High said what? You know a man by his fruit. Mm -hmm. Their fruit is spoiled. And, it's, and their tree is dying. dying. It's withering away. Yeah. It's damping off. You know? You know what I'm saying? So I don't have no time for no Christian uh, bull crap. Bad that the laws is done away with. That's the same thing that uh, Satan said. So if you're talking about the laws done away with, we know who you worship. Mm -hmm. You know not who you worship. They worship Satan. You know? Like I said, he said he came to deceive the whole world. You talking about, go to uh, 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 Matthews uh, 15, 17. Can y'all uh, go over here for a minute? Move. Matthew 15 and 17. Sorry. Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enter in at the mouth. No, not 15. I mean, Matthew's 5, 17. My bad. Okay. Matthew's 5, 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law. You hear that? This is real letter. What the first thing that Yahweh Shai said? He said, think not hmm, that I come to destroy the law. Go ahead. Or the prophets. Y'all go in your room. Don't wake up running. Okay. Or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So let's go back. Think not that I come to destroy the law. He said, Yahweh New Testament, Matthews. This is how we found out who Yahweh is by reading Matthews. Yahweh said, think not that I come to destroy the law. This is coming out of out of uh, Yahweh's mouth that they uh, wrote in the records for we can know. Go ahead. Or the prophets. He didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets. Go ahead. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. But to fulfill. What did he come to fulfill? He, these fools be thinking that he came to fulfill the law when he just said, think not, I come mm -hmm. to destroy the law. Mm -hmm. He come to fulfill himself keeping the law. Mm -hmm. Just like all the prophets kept the law, now it's his time to keep the law because he died what? He, he died blameless. He was of no sin because he kept the law. Go ahead. And this is how you understand. You got to read. You got to keep reading. This is how you understand that these Christians, they, uh, 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 they words be smooth as butter. And it deceived all of us. And it deceived us with this verse thinking that the laws is done away with. All you have to do is sit back, calm yourself down. And read it slowly for yourself. And you will understand that the laws is not done away with when you read this verse. Go ahead. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Has heaven and earth pass? No, nah, we still here, right? Earth is still here. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. What is the jot and the tittle? The smallest thing of the law. Keeping your beard. Wearing fringes. Hmm? He said, not one jot or one tittle should be taken from the law. So how, so where do they get, oh, Jesus fulfilled the law? When you keep reading, he says, shall not one jot or one tittle be taken from the law? Or what? Go ahead. Look, check this out. Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. Go ahead. Everything fulfilled. Everything ain't fulfilled. How you know everything ain't fulfilled, Belkaya? Because Yahweh said say he go return. You know what I'm saying? And he haven't returned yet. So all haven't been fulfilled. So we got to keep the laws. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of the least commandments 
and shall teach men so. He said, what? What did Yahweh say? I don't listen to men. I don't listen to these Christians that are telling you what they heart, what they think. Well, I think this. Oh, well, my heart, he, the most I said their hearts is evilly wicked. I'm going to listen to what it said right here in this book. These Christians were even trying to tell you, well, it don't mean that what it just said. It means, so, well, what do it mean? Well, you know, it was, this is the old English. We got to read it out of the uh, NIV. You know what I'm saying? They just say some stupid stuff like that talking about the old English so it don't mean what you reading right here. You know what I'm saying? That's why they, that's, that's, they say it. You know what I'm saying? They say they, they can't be nobody else but Satan trying to deceive you and trying to bring you back into a lion with Satan. You know what I'm saying? Trying to bring you back into his fold, following him. Because he's pissed off that you left. You know what I'm saying? He's pissed off that you're not a lover of the world. He said, once you be free like me, and you can sin. The laws are done away with. Be free. Do whatever you want to do. Sin. Be a homosexual if you want to. Kill your brother. Kill your neighbor. Do drugs. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the laws done away with when you can do all that. How can I trust you around my kids and you tell me that the laws are done away with? So you, the, if you, if the laws are done away with, yeah, how much I fulfill all the laws? So you mean to tell me you could be a a, a, a rapist now? You could be a whoremonger? You could be a, a a pedophile? It's okay. All you gotta do is pray. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, God, I uh, I was a pedophile yesterday. I actually, please forgive me. And you think you're gonna be saved? That's what happens. That's why a lot of our black people is out there in the streets today acting crazy because these pastors that need to be all uh, 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 dealt with, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? According to my understanding how they need to be dealt with, but all these pastors need to be dealt with because for centuries, they've been teaching our kids that the laws are done away with, so all you have to do when you uh, sin is ask for forgiveness, and you're going to be saved. Just say these three words. God, forgive me. You know what I'm saying? That's what you say. Mm -hmm. And that's what you'll be thinking all your life, that all you got to do is that. You gun down your brother in the street, and all you got to do, God, please forgive me. I had to do it. And you could be saved. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't, that's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's like, our ancestors in this book, they got punished for more. The, uh, uh, one of the brothers in this book, right, he didn't wear fringes, uh, so the Most High killed him. You know what I'm saying? Because he broke a law, and the Most High said, y'all got to wear fringes throughout y'all uh, generation. You know what I'm saying? If you don't wear no fringes, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then you got a brother talking about you ain't got to wear fringes. fringes. Man, I'm go. The Most High said, "Be ye therefore perfect, like your Father in heaven is." I will try to be perfect, and I will try to do above. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you was doing above when you was wicked. So now when you come to the jury, oh, you ain't gotta do all that, brother. You know what I'm saying? The Most High said that you ain't supposed to put no line upon your head, and you run around cutting people here. Oh nah, man. And you think you gonna make it in the kingdom? He said, "Not once, not one jot or one tittle." Should be uh, uh, taken away. So now you got brothers that's in the truth that turn into Christians. Hmm? They're trying to justify their sin. You don't have to do that law. You we gonna cherry pick the laws. You ain't gotta keep have no fringes on, brother. You don't have to have a beard, brother. But the Most High said in His laws that you have to have these things. Yeah, they turn into Christians. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they turn into Christians in the last hour, man. You know what I'm saying? When when you can see all the prophecies playing out that's in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? We just read about Gaza going to war, yeah. and it repeated itself, and they're going to war again. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Right I'm saying, wow. yeah, and these, these brothers are going to talk about, you ain't got to do that. You ain't, I, 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 you don't have to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to be perfect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to do everything to be perfect. They say, you ain't got to do sacrifices. You ain't got to make holy oil. I'm doing it. For when I get judged, I, he going to be like, uh, well, he, well, he was wicked for like, uh, like 20 years. But now, uh, uh, he living righteous. He lived righteous all the way until he died. And he even tried to do everything. He tried to do all the things that uh, uh, the Most High said because the Most High said he changed not. So he tried to do all the things that the Most High told him to do, and he tried to do it to the best of his, uh, uh, of his will. Mm -hmm. He tried to do the best he could. He didn't say, like, oh, you ain't got to do that. No, he tried to. Mm -hmm. So when they uh, open up, so when the angels open up that book of life, 
and hopefully my name be up in that thing. And they're going to read it off. Yeah, he was fucking up at first. But now he he, he went above yeah, righteous. Yeah. You know? Man, you got to make up. I ain't going to be like that. Go, nah. go get the palm leaves. We got away with yeah, the heart. Yeah, man, all that, man. You know? Get the heart. Yeah, get the heart. My heart, I'm playing the heart, all that shit. He talking about fig trees. I just bought some fig trees, man. I ain't playing, man. Like, man, y'all, all these other people, they can do that. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all. Because the most high, he said that, uh, uh, all you can do is plant a seed, and you got to let that seed grow. So you either hear or forbear. You know what I'm saying? You ever take heed or you don't. You find Everybody going to find their excuse. A, a, a sinful man going to always try to find an excuse for, a, 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 what's that, a, a reproof? reproof? Yeah. But a sinful man going to always try to find a way out. Going to always try to find a way according out. According to their... Uh, Understanding. Uh, yeah, according to their ring. Will. So a simple man will always try to find his way out. Oh, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do this. You ain't got to do that. But they wicked, man. We got to keep the... Well, I will find it. Oh, you want me to find it? Oh, go ahead. I was going to tell you to uh, finish uh, 17. Oh, okay. So I'm going to show you. Um, let's see. 5. 5, 17. I think it was on 19. Yeah. Whosoever shall break one of the least commandments and shall teach men so... He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. You see that? It said break the least of the commandments and then go around and teach man that the laws is done away with. So how is the laws fulfilled when your house is telling you this? That you can't even break the least of the commandments. And if you do break the least of the commandments, you're going to be what? Look at least in the kingdom. Go ahead. But whosoever shall do... And teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. It's that simple. I'm about to do these laws and I will teach these laws. I don't care if you hear or forbear. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you believe it or you don't. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be doing them. I don't care if you don't do them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you to do them. If you don't want to do them, that's you. I'm going to depart from wicked people. I'm not, I'm not dealing with wicked people no more. I'm not dealing with people who don't keep God's laws no more. If you don't keep God's law, I don't have no words for you. Yeah. I'm not talking to you. I'm not dealing with you because I have no conversation for you. The only conversation I got is about how to keep God's laws. What did you do for the Sabbath? How do you keep the Sabbath? How do you keep the high holidays? I ain't got time for that bull crap no more. I'm an old man now. I done done all that stuff, man. I done all that wickedness ever since I was 12. You know what I'm saying? So why is grown people still uh, talking about all that wicked stuff? When they have to look in the mirror at themselves and see that that wicked shit ain't got them nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I got time for these fools. I just want to deal with these fools. I'd rather stay to myself and I'd rather be in my Bible and learn my precepts. For one day I can go on the streets and teach the people. I'm not dealing with these fools. Those fools ain't going to hinder me. Because when I was down and out, where they was at? They were happy to see me down and out. You know what I'm saying? But now when you righteous, they want to bring you back to a hell. You feel me? They want to bring you back as a sinful person. But when you were sinful, I didn't care about you. They apply all your sin. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know these fools are wicked. But when you're doing righteous, they don't apply to your righteous. Ah, oh, you wrong, bro. Nah, you, uh, uh, you ain't, you ain't got to do all that. You supposed to be over here doing drugs. Why you ain't doing drugs? You supposed to be over here a whoremonger. You supposed to be over here a thief, a liar, a killer. You supposed to be all this shit. But when you're trying to be righteous, nah, you can't, you ain't, you can't be righteous. You can't do all the laws. Man, these fools are Satan angels. Hmm? These fools are Gentiles. That's who they are. They are Gentiles. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, 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 they align themselves with Satan. They Satan worshipers. That's all they do. They, they all Satan worshipers. That's what they are. Yeah? And that's it. Shalom. Shalom.